Hello and welcome back. Um, when we per previously were in here, we were actually doing it all from the command line. This is the web uh, GUI or web user interface um, that they have for Overt, and then we'll go through the administrative portal. There's a couple steps that we need to do to get it up and running operational uh, 100% from the install that we did from the command line. So let's first go into the administration portal. Uh, here you'll be asked uh, username and password. It's admin and then the password that you set up in the uh, uh, command line. And then from there you can go into the data centers. And you can see that we have the local data center. Um, it's up and it's running 3.3. .3. Um, the other one's just the d default. You can actually delete that and remove it, but we're not going to do that right now. Uh, the biggest thing that we need to go into is the actual storage. As you can see, the local storage is available. and That's the data master. It tells you what version it is, it's active, and how, how large it is. Uh, the one that we need to activate here or attach is the ISO domain. Uh, so first of all, we select it. Um, go to Data Center. Here we'll hit Attach, Local Data Center. Click OK. And looks like it's attached. It's locked. Right now it's currently down, but it's, it's going through the process of uh, turning that up or making it available. Uh, the next thing we want to do is create the uh, export that we did, and that was the, the optional thing. We don't have to have a, an export, but uh, let's, let's just go through and create that as well. So our new domain, I'm just going to call it export. And we can give it a description, uh, pretty much the same. Directory. Data center is going to be the local. Um, Domain function storage, uh, it will be export NFS on the local host. And export path, this is going to be the either the fully qualified domain name or the IP address. Um, a lot of times I don't, you know, get that heavy into DNS. I mean, we're going to set up a DNS server and all our stuff, but initially we're just going to go by the IP address. So that'll be the 192.68.2.33. It's, it's the same IP address that you're actually uh, on, so it's really not... That, that big of a deal. Um, it's going to be the IP address of the the server itself, the overt server itself, and then the, the path that it's on would be var lib exports export. And click OK. If we put that all in information in right. And as we can see, there is now an export. That's currently down, and uh, we'll expect this to go up to a green arrow. This could be an NFS on a different machine or remote machine, one that, that's uh, set up as maybe a file server that you have. Um, and it doesn't have to be the system itself, but this is just the self-contained all-in-one type thing just to get you up and running and see the basics. Um, that, that's it for this part of it. Uh, the next part, we'll actually be creating the uh, virtual machines. Um, from the virtual machines and stuff like that, we'll create a template. And then from the template, we'll create other virtual machines from the template. And uh, you kind of see how that's done and uh, little caveats that, that, that exist in there and stuff like that. Uh, again, this is the uh, open virtualization uh, over and uh, you get more information on info.bing14.net. And again, thank you for your time.